The moment that changed everything for me. There was a look on his face. He lost his legs. He even lost a girlfriend when he came back. She left him. He knew this dog was here to stay. I knew this dog was going to take care of him. I had to say my goodbyes. And I quit the animal training industry for movies that day. And that's when I dedicated everything to training dogs to change people's lives. I'm Brandon McMillan, and this is my masterclass. <laughs> Why, thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the channel. It's Lewis P. here. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the Brandon McMillan Teaches Dog Training Masterclass. If you don't know who Brandon is, he is the star of a show called Lucky Dog. That is an Emmy award winning show whereby he goes out, he looks at dogs that have been abandoned, he trains them up and really proves the point that you can train any dog. And it's really not the dog that needs to be trained, but more so the owner. And hence, he built this masterclass and this really successful TV show. Either way, what we're going to do is we're going to log into the classes that you just invested in it and show you what's it all about. And see if it's actually worth it for you. We're going to review every single lesson for you as well. So that should be helpful in the, your decision making process, as well as teaching you how to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, guys, there's a link in the description, which you can get the class for an unknown amount at this point in time. Masterclass changes their price based on the region you're in. So if you're in America, it's probably a certain price. If you're in anywhere in Europe, Germany, England, wherever you are, it's probably going to be a different price for you. Let me know in the comments below how much you see the Masterclass for, because I know it's different for everyone else and they're always changing. And it's pretty cool for all of us to have that update. Otherwise, let's jump right into the masterclass now. So this is exactly what you see once you invest in the masterclass. Really quickly, you'll see these ticks on the right that indicates that you've completed the masterclass. So of course, I've gone ahead and completed every lesson and they've all been really informative for me. There's only two main points you need to understand before we jump into this. And that is the community component as well as the workbook, which supplements each one of these lessons. So what I'm going to show you really quickly is the workbook. I'm going to go ahead and download that now. Click that and show you what it looks like. Now, this is a very professional workbook. It looks simple. I'm only going to show you the first two pages just so you can see the quality that you're getting. And I'm going to leave it here. So if you want to read that, by all means, go ahead, read it. This guy has trained animals for blockbuster films like The Hangover. You remember that tiger? I'll have it on the screen right now. He literally trained that tiger. So he knows what he's doing and he's actually pivoted in this educational space. Phil, there is a tiger in the bathroom. What's going on? Either way, if you want to read this, pause the video and just read it. I want to be really respectful for those that have invested in this masterclass because imagine if I just showed you all 35 pages, that's just simply not cool. Now that's the first piece, the workbook. The next piece I want to show you is actually the community. The community has two major components to it. Now it has the overarching community for this masterclass for Brandon McMillan, which is all of the people that have invested in this particular class and taken it. And they all discuss and talk about what they're learning and what they're doing, which is cool, as well as the overarching masterclass class community up here. Now, there are a few cool components to this. One is the networking piece where you can interact with other masterclass users. And I've made some amazing connections from this place. I've made more than a hundred connections in my three years of being with masterclass at this point in time. So loving this networking place. It's amazing. As well as contests. Let's say Brandon McMillan may have a dog contest or, you know, something like that. You can enter those contests and actually win things as well. And of course, the people that win these contests go into the student highlights, which is pretty cool. You know, you are highlighted, you're, you and your dog could be featured in this masterclass community, which is all fun and games. So in my opinion, the community is actually much more value than all these lessons, to be fair with you. But that's just my opinion, because these people that you connect with have the same interest as you, as well as building those lifelong connections, which is invaluable as far as I'm concerned. And bringing all these things together, pretty cool masterclass. So well done for doing that. Let's jump into the masterclass right now. As we scroll down, you can see that there is actually 15 lessons in this masterclass. It's not too long. However, it's more about quality rather than quantity. So let's jump off with lesson one, which is, of course, meet your instructor. This is a good 10 minutes of an overview of who this person is, what they're all about and how he's built a framework in order to simplify training your dog. And he talks about the methods he's going to utilize. So there's no hitting. There's nothing abusive. There's nothing like that. He uses a very, very humane and unique approach to training his pets. So lesson two talks about the variables that make up your dog. And this is where he looks at the different types of dogs you are. So he talks about the seven different basically family trees of dogs the history of them. So for example, a great one is the golden retriever. And he looks at the history of that dog. For example, the golden retriever was actually a retriever dog for hunters back in the day, whereby if a hunter shot down a bird that was really far away in terms of yards, the golden retriever would go out and grab that bird and then bring it back to the owner. He talks about the breed and why these dogs were bred to begin with. And he looks at sheep dogs and all of these different dogs, which is really cool to see that history. He looks at the different ages from all the way from them being a baby all the way to them being 
being quite old and looking at those different stages of life. It looks at the history of these dogs and relating to the breed as well. And then of course the imprinted DNA. And sometimes you just can't get around the DNA and he makes it pretty certain how the nature versus nurture argument within dogs. And a lot of people say, well, their dog can't be trained. This guy pretty much knocks you out on the head and tells you you absolutely can. Lesson three is all about getting trust and building the groundwork for training. So how exactly do you do that? He looks at Lulu's story and this story is actually also in the trailer whereby a previous dog had passed away and Lulu obviously recognized how sad Brandon was and ended up trusting him because of that emotion, which is unbelievably powerful. He looks at the importance of exercising your dog, keeping your dog social, especially when they're young and babies, otherwise they turn into maniacs when they're older. And then of course, learning to lead and not dominate and being strict on them. So really, really powerful lesson three. Lesson four is all about training foundations and the seven common commands. Now, Brandon McMillan could teach you a billion different commands to be fair with you in this dog training masterclass. However, he just says, listen guys, there's a few that you just really need to know for now, which tells me that there's going to be an advanced masterclass in the future. And these are really sit, down, stay, no, off, come, heal. And there's a few other behavioral components to this, especially door dashing. Door dashing was amazing. He looks at your mental prep and how you do that, which is actually the methodology that you need to use for all these commands. So you control them and you have them in a control environment, then you train. And then of course, once they're doing what you want to do, you treat them. As a quick side note on that, I've been treating my little one with, with the wrong type of treats when I'm trying to train him. Now I'm going to show you the current treats that I'm currently using for my little one right now. And it's worked absolute wonders. And Brandon McMillan continues by saying, you know, the right time to train. So when should you be training your little one? And he gives you a specific time that is optimal for most dogs. However, he looks at the nuances within other dogs as well. You know, some like it at night and you know, there's actually a time frame which I don't want to give away because it's not fair for those that have invested, but there is a time frame that is optimal for your little one. And then of course the seven common commands, which I've just walked you through very quickly. Then he talks about signaling these commands. So each one of these seven commands really have a specific signal and how to use your treat as a result of that. So I'm going to show you an example right now on how he uses that treat for one command. So you can see how he utilizes the control train and treat component. And you'll see how small this treat is and effective because they smell so good that if they can resist that smell, you know, you're doing a good job with that training. So he looks at pairing verbal and hand signals together. So sometimes when you, you when you're on the phone and you don't have the verbal, you can use a hand signal for the little one and it will listen to you, which is amazing. He looks at different leash techniques on how to actually hold a leash because a lot of people don't know how to hold leashes. And he uses examples. Brandon McMillan, he says, listen, this is, even if your dog is huge, this method on holding a leash has held back tigers for me. So you have nothing to worry about. So he teaches you the methods to hold leashes in a safe way and also a way that doesn't hurt your little one, which is amazing. Then the double leash lock off, which is all about stability and just keeping them in place, especially when they're younger. Then he goes into the seven commandments, right? So he looks at how to make your dog sit and what are the components to that? Again, it's all about that control, train and treat. And he does it multiple times. He looks at down, obviously putting a dog on a table and showing you how that works. He looks at stay. He looks at how to train your dog to stay. He teaches you how to say no to a dog when it's like, this is not cool. You shouldn't be doing this, which is great. He looks at off, which is great. He looks at come. He looks at heel. Now lessons 13, 14, and 15 are in my opinion, some of the most valuable. Now, of course, you're getting a lot from, from six to 12, of course, because you're, you're learning that methodology to train in a simple fashion that works. But lessons 13, 14, and 15 are wonderful because there are a lot of dogs that have some behavioral issues. Some of the topics include the house training triangle for dogs of all ages, the mealtime variations and why that's important to understand, apartment living and how to live with a dog in an apartment lifestyle, especially as apartments are becoming so popular in the Western world. He looks at understanding why accidents happen and how to handle marking. But now what we're gonna talk about is door dashing. Now I'm gonna show you a quick example on your screen right now where you see Brandon McMillan training a dog from being extremely aggressive with respect to their door dashing to the end result in less than 12 minutes, which is absolutely going to blow your mind. And within this video, it shows you exactly how he's done that, which is amazing. I've done it. It's worked wonders for me. It's the best. And you just train this over time, which is great. And then lesson 15 is all about behavior, digging, chewing, and barking. So how to prevent your dog from digging up your yard. And it's quite simple to be fair with you. It's a very simple solution. It's a bit dirty at times, but hey, it works. How to train your dog from chewing on like 
your clothes, on your hats, on your shoes, on your controllers, and looking at alternatives for that. And of course, how to prevent barking from happening, which can be an absolute time saver. And also uh, to be fair with you, barking can even be a lifesaver to a certain extent, because if somebody dobs on your dog for barking too much, you know, the animal controllers in your region could eff effectively take complete control of your dog and you would have no say. And they could even put it down at certain times, which is to be fair with you, absolutely disgusting. But understanding how to manage this behavior and controlling this behavior, whether it's digging, chewing or barking is critical for everything as far as I'm concerned. And that everyone is the Brandon McMillan Teacher's Dog Training Masterclass in a nutshell. I hope you've discovered if it's worth it for you. But here are my thoughts. If you have over 20 years experience working with dogs and understand all these things, you probably don't need this masterclass. However, if you're relatively new, you're moving out of the house, you're about to get a dog and you want to understand how to train your dog so they don't make a complete mess in life of your house, then you absolutely want to invest in this type of masterclass. And as always, I have a link in the description which you can get the masterclass for an unknown amount. It's different in your region, so I'm not even going to say a price right now. Let me know how much it is in your region and where you are from. So if you're in America, let me know. Otherwise, everyone, 85 classes, all access, PDF workbooks, audio only sessions if you want that downloading and watching offline. You can watch it on any device. And of course, new classes added every month, which has nothing to do with this masterclass in particular. Otherwise, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on this channel because every week or so, I make a post on the community tab within YouTube and leave a comment for around three to four hours that links you to all of my free online courses. So you can just take that. There's no pitch. There's no method. I'm not going to blast you with emails and sell you something that it's nothing like that. It's just a way to add more value to those that subscribe to my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this Brandon McMillan masterclass. Let me know if you end up getting it in the comments below. Otherwise, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Lewis P out.